Hey, it's Rest and Moose with another Minecraft tutorial for you today. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a totally silent repeater bud switch. I just now stumbled upon this when I was trying to build an ALU in one of my creative worlds, and I thought this was a very cool thing, and so I decided to make it into something that would be more usable. So here's what I have. So we have a furnace and a light. Now, with other bud switches, they make a sound when you update them it's a piston firing and the problem with that is if you want something to be secret like a secret trip to like trip an alarm a silent alarm if you want like a light to go off to alert you that someone's coming into your base but you don't want them to know that you know they're coming in this is something nice it's also good for traps because they don't know that they triggered the trap but anyways as you can see we have a furnace here put in raw pork chop nothing happens we can put in just the coal nothing happens so there's no comparator behind there. Put in both, the light goes on. Now if we jump behind here we have something very interesting going on. It doesn't look like much and you might be thinking how is this a bud switch? Well down here I have built multiple demonstrations of it and I have them facing in multiple directions just to show you that it doesn't matter which way you have it oriented. Sometimes it matters if it's facing west or east but this design it does not matter. I will explain one thing that does matter later and I'm not really sure why, I don't understand the code behind it, but maybe one of you does and you could let me know, but that'd be nice. Anyways, just didn't strain this. If you update the block by the repeater, on, block by the repeater, on, block by the repeater, on, and block by the repeater, on. Now these can be easily inverted too. So if you want to make it so it's inverted, all you gotta do is you gotta place that right there, and now is oh wait, yeah. place that there and now all you can do is put that block there and it'll go off so you can invert these really easily too so let's get on to building them this is a very simple build and you're gonna need everything you see in my inventory to do it so we're gonna start by placing down our repeater this is what we're gonna update next you're gonna put a block here a block here or this is where it's going into you can put a block there, or you can just go ahead and put a redstone lamp right there to make it easier. And this is just indicating that it's been updated for testing purposes, but you can have this going to whatever. So here's where the magic happens. Now if you notice back here, if I put a piece of dust and it's kind of going in an L shape, and this is the one limitation, and if I power it and then I put this here, it'll turn off. Now if I go in a straight line, so that it's being powered directly into it in a straight path and I do the same thing, turn it on and then I redirect the current with something like a lever it can really be, it doesn't have to be a lever, it's just anything else that has current moved to it, the redstone does make that path it will stay on for some reason but as soon as we update it we can actually even do that but it'll turn back off So. Like I said earlier, you can invert this really easily, which I think is pretty neat. I inverted it just back then, but say you don't want it inverted, what you gotta do is you gotta start with this here, and then put that there, turn it on, then break the blocks, and you got it. And now you can have a silent way of triggering traps or just messing with your friends. I don't know about you guys, but I thought this was pretty cool. I haven't really seen a silent butt switch. I am aware that there's a complicated way you can do it with comparators but it has to do with the orientation of it so I think this is a pretty new and revolutionary way that you can have a bud switch but let me know what you think in the comments below as always thanks for watching and please subscribe see ya don't go just yet there's some more I need to show you so I figured out that you can build it this way and it can be in an L shape like that and the reason why it didn't work in the past is because I was putting the lever right next to here. Now, as you can see, when I do place the lever right next to it, it doesn't immediately update. Now let's see what happens when I flick it on. Nothing happens. Now if I break the lever, it'll update. That's another weird thing I figured out after I record the video. So I'm just going to correct myself and show you guys that. The reason why it didn't work before is because I was just putting the lever right there, and then by updating it, it, you know made the butt switch go off. Well, now, see you guys for real.